I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Tully Tiger Pledge. I am proud of myself. I am proud of my teachers. I am proud of my school. Each day I pledge to be prepared and ready to learn, communicate effectively, show compassion for others, ask questions and take risks, actively listen and work with others. I can make each day the best day. We are from this boys class. Good morning. Welcome to WTLY Tully Today. Today is Monday, April 8th. Um, I am Miss Hines. I'm doing the announcements today because I have a couple special ones. But first, I want to invite everyone tomorrow. The PTA is hosting a fundraiser night at Texas Roadhouse. So invite your families. Go out to have a good meal at Texas Roadhouse and tell your server when it's time for the bill that you are with Tully and we will get some of the proceeds to benefit our school. So that is tomorrow night. I am on here for two special library announcements. The first one, I'm excited, next Friday. Next Friday we have Moms and Muffins, but that is the kickoff to our book fair. Book fair is open during Moms and Muffins and then the whole following week. So this pamphlet will be going home with you today or tomorrow, whenever your teacher gets it to you. It's about some of the books that are going to be at book fair. There's also a purple letter that is on the front that talks about inviting your grandparents the week after Moms and Muffins, we are having special lunches with grandparents and your grandparents can come to the book fair and shop with you. So we ask that you invite your uh, grandparents on the day that is for your grade level, but if they can't make it that day or there is a sibling and they want to do both lunches in one day, that is perfectly fine. But try to get your grandparents to come and have lunch with you one day um, that following week of book fair. So be looking for that. I'll be back on to talk more about book fair. But the second special library announcement is that my fourth grade wind group, we have been working on reciting some poetry. We've looked at some poems and they're, they picked one they're going to recite and they're also writing some haikus. So April is poetry month and I thought over the this month I'm going to showcase some of their poems that they're going to recite and some of them that they wrote. So if you see kids Reciting poetry, that is why we're celebrating Poetry Month. So thank you, and now over to Mr. Mulkins with another special announcement. Good morning, boys and girls. I want to talk to you about what's going on this week. This week is actually Vi National Violence Prevention Week. So we're going to talk about ways that we can help uh, keep our community safe, help keep one another safe, and uh, when we get angry, not using violence, but doing other things instead. So uh, this week uh, on Monday, we are going to um, be talking about that. And the one thing is it starts with is called just saying hello. And it's being friendly and kind to one another. So if you see somebody that's feeling lonely, someone that's not uh, having a good day, seems sad, just say hello to them, be nice to them, be kind to them, and that will help them feel comfortable. And then they can uh, kind of turn that anger around or that sadness around and uh, know that they have someone to talk to. So that's just called just say hello. So today I want you to, if you see somebody feeling that way, just say hello to them, ask them how they're doing, be kind to them. Tomorrow, Tuesday, what I want you to do is going to be Kindness Day here at Tully. Your teachers are going to be looking for students that are actually being kind just to do it, just to be kind to one another. And they're going to take note of that because on Wednesday, I'm going to be in the cafeteria and we're going to announce some of those kids that are showing kindness just randomly anytime during that day on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we're going to announce some of those in the cafeteria. Remember, guys, even though we're doing it just on Tuesday, it is important to do all the time. You, it just being kind to one another, caring for one another, it, it works in your favor because then you get it back to yourself. The more you're kind and caring to one another, the more people are going to be that way towards you as well.
On Thursday, guys, we are going to uh, have your teachers. They're going to read a story or they're going to show a video to you about a book about a, a person that gets angry. And what I want you to do is think about when that person gets angry, what are ways that you cool down? What are ways that you calm down? Because part of uh, staying away from violence is when you're angry, is, work, is thinking about ways to cool down, calm yourself down so that you don't do things that end up being uh, responsive to other people. And then on Friday, guys, we're going to unite as a school and show that we are going to work on being kind, calm, and uh, caring to one another by wearing purple and, or orange. So if you have purple and, or orange in your closet, wear it on Friday. And that show where we are as a school are united against, uh, people, that, against uh, people that are showing anger towards one another because we're going to show kindness and caring towards one another here at Tali. So look forward to this week, guys, uh, ahead of us. And uh, make sure you do each of those things each day that we talked about. I've lost my hippopotamus, the situation's weird. One minute she was next to me, then poof, she disappeared. It's hard to lose a hippo, for a hippo's truly huge. I'm sensing something fishy, some unsavory subterfuge. I've searched and searched with no success. I've yet to find a clue. To her status or location, I'm unsure of what to do. If you spot a hippopotamus, well, usually there's none. Please let me know. The odds are good you found my missing one.